But today, when we look at companies, like that first AI meeting is very easy because banks are very actively thinking yeah. what can happen. I think we're going to spend a fair bit of time looking at what AI does for financial services. The way we think about it is today with where AI agents are, what the latest thinking are on these multi-agent models, see what's happening. Effectively, you're saying your workflows can become more intelligent. Second, you're saying your workflows can become more multi-modal. I can look at different voice, images, whatnot. What does that mean? That means suddenly you can take a, you can move away from being a software to something that is very outcome oriented. You can take a service and you can say, I can deliver this whole service to you with the help of an AI agent, a multi-agent model, which is the largest services we know of today, financial services. You go and look inside any financial services institutions today, starting from recon to collections to what you spoke about, compliance to like people doing manual document checks. Like there are literally slivers you can pick and say, can I just think of this end to end and like build the right module to sort of automate this, which is where we think that opportunity set is. At the same time, we think a lot of this will be very vertical because I think one, you need deep domain knowledge. Second, banks and financial institutions have their own unique needs. Like they need explainability, they need data security in a certain way, uh, they need compliance to be uh, happening. Like there's a bunch of reasons why this has to be verticalized and that opportunity set is very large. I think it's dual advantage. I think it's going to uplift the customer experience radically for you. The example of being real time or much shorter times that it's going to make you much more efficient. So I actually think the operating leverage AI can provide to the profitability profile of a lot of these institutions is massive and that's how they should think about it because it's actually a business it's not a cost center, it's actually a, a you know margin expansion opportunity. And actually the good thing that's happening is how fast this is happening because see imagine when cloud came in, there weren't banks jumping to say let me go and meet a cloud LMS player or a cloud LOS player or whatnot, right? Like it took its while. Like, in fact, there was a little bit of hesitance to go on cloud or on mobile or a lot of that. But today, when we look at companies, like that first AI meeting is very easy because banks are very actively thinking yeah. what can happen and that realm of possibility is starting to come up in their head. So like, I think it's going to be much faster than some of the other technology waves we saw uh, with mobile or cloud or any of those. Not just that, Nidal, to your point, like for example, if you take that audit use case again, mm. like you're not just replacing some of the audit teams to with an AI board, but at the same time, you're getting much richer insights through something like this. So that gives you a different level of business insights that can feed back into your operations yeah. and product. So uh, not just will it improve margins, but it can improve quality of business overall.